Hello, we are going to talk about reverse percentage change at this time and just keep on getting it wrong. So we really need to we really need to get this sorted. The classic problem that I see with this every single time we do it is people are adamant that they're going to just do a decrease to undo an increase and it doesn't work. So please please stop doing that. Let's take a look. If you've got a hundred whatever, hundred pounds, hundred kilograms, it doesn't matter. If you increase that by ten percent, I hope that most of you can see that ten percent of a hundred is ten, and so that's going to become a hundred and ten. If I want to undo that, reverse the percentage change and get back to the original, I want to get back to 100. If I just do a decrease of 10%, having done an increase of 10%, the problem is that what I'm doing the percentage change of has got bigger. So here 10% was 10, here 10% is 11. So if I try to come back, by doing the decrease, I'm not going to take off 10, I'm going to take off 11, because that's what 10% of 110 is, and I'm going to get 99, which isn't what we started with, it doesn't work. Equally, if I reduce 100 by 10%, I would get 90, that's a smaller amount, so when I do the increase, I'm going to increase by a smaller amount, even though it's still 10%, it's 10% of a smaller amount, so the actual amount of stuff is smaller. So it's going to go back to 99, whichever way you do it. It just doesn't work. Let's see the right way to do it. Once again, I'm going to start with 100. Now, in your head, you can probably do the 10% increase, but we're going to use multipliers. If we're going to increase by 10%, I'm going to end up with 110%, because at the moment I've got 100%, I've got everything I, I have to begin with, that's 100%. So 10% more, I get 110%. Now on your calculator, if you have a percent button, you could type it in as 110 and then press the percent button. And all the percent button does is divide by 100. So really what we should do is... Um, times by 1.1, because that's what 110% is as a decimal, 1.1. If you really want to, you can put the O in, so it looks like 10%, uh, 110, it's entirely up to you. And this would give us the answer we had before, 110. Okay, so, so far, I think you're still with me, we've just done the normal increase. To undo this increase, I need to do the opposite. What did I do? I times by 1.1. So I need to divide by 1.1. I have to do my 110, the, what I now have, divide it by the percentage change that happened that I'm undoing, which is an increase of 10%. And if I do that division, I get back to the original. The trick is to divide by the forward percentage change. So whatever you would have done to do the percentage change and end up with what you've now got, we divide by that to get back to the original. Let's look at some questions. So we've got, first of all, a 20% sale. And in the sale, the coat is costing £42. How much did it cost originally? I'm going to set it up as an equation like we just had. So I'm going to uh, use x for the original price. I don't know what that is. That's what I'm trying to find out. If I knew that, though, if that's what I had, if this was a normal percentage change question, and I was going to do 20% off, how would I achieve that? Well, if I'm losing 20%, I'm going to be left with 80%. And you always multiply by the percentage you're left with. 
So I'm going to times by 0 0.8. And that does 80%. It tells me 80%, which is 20%. And that equals, well, I know what it equals because it's told me that after doing 20% off, I've got 42 pounds. Now I rearrange this. I do the opposite of timesing by 0 0.8. I divide by 0 0.8. So x equals 42 divided by 0 0.8. And then I just reach for my calculator and we work it out. 42 divided by 0 0.8. The coat originally cost 52.5. Now, that's the original. If you're not sure, if you don't believe me, let's use that answer and do 20% off and see if we get 42. I'll leave you to do that. Times it by 0 0.8 and you should get 42. Or divide it by 100 and times it by 80. It'll do the same thing. Or divide it by 5 and then take it away uh, from, take whatever you get away from 52.5 and you should get 42. All of these things will check and you will find you get the same answer. You get 42. Before we move on, this is money. So first of all, I'm going to put the units. And also because it's money, we don't leave it as 0.5. We're going to make it. 50, so it's in pence, okay? Just, you might not lose a mark for that, but it's just a good habit to get into if it's money, making sure that you've got two decimal places. Let's just do another one. It's slightly different because this was an increase. There was a 3% increase in this ticket, and it ends up as this. So again, let's write it out as if we were doing the increase. The original amount, we would multiply well, a 3% increase is 103%. That's how much we would have after a 3% increase. So we times by 1.03, and that would give us £233.81. pence. So to do the opposite, to reverse it, I do the opposite. I divide by 1.03, and so I'm just going to do... 233.81 divided by 1.03. And again, I just put that into my calculator. 233.81 divided by 1.03 is 227 pounds. And that's it. That's all you have to do. None of this increasing and decreasing malarkey. Thank you very much. If you are undoing an increase, then undo it. Do the opposite. Divide by what happened to get that increase in the first place. If you're undoing a decrease, divide by how you did that decrease in the first place. Don't do an increase to counteract a decrease. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Here are three questions for you to have a go at. I made the last one particularly difficult because there's an increase and then a decrease. And you've got to undo both. It doesn't actually matter which way around you do it because timesing and dividing, as long as you divide the right one and you times the right one, it doesn't matter which order you do them. So, it's not as bad as it actually looks. You've got to do both of them. You've got to undo in the right way. So I'll leave you with those, uh, and I'll make another video with the answers. Try for now.